Hi, this is Mike Abbey with Enterprise Express Tax Service. Uh, just wanting to give most of my clients and the general audience an update on what's going on in the tax world. There are significant delays with IRS refunds this tax filing season. Um, mostly, uh, there are probably three reasons for this. One, of course, is the fact that with COVID uh, last year and this year with the pandemic, uh, a lot of the IRS offices were closed. And so uh, the employees were not able to be in the offices and that created a massive backup on, especially with paper returns. Uh, the IRS is pretty good at uh, filing electronic returns, but at some point they still need these human bodies to come in and do some of the manual uh, calculations. The other thing that's happened again is the fact that a lot of the uh, uh, calculations uh, for the stimulus payments. Uh, remember the IRS said that if some people did not receive the stimulus payments, they were going to recalculate. Um, based on their current year's tax return, those people could get what was called a recovery rebate. Well, that's a good idea. However, what started to happen is that, um, you know, not many people, some people moved to different addresses, some people didn't quite know what information to put in the returns and that caused some confusion and miscalculations. So the IRS is now having to recalculate those tax returns that have come in with a request for re rebate returns because they noticed that there were so many errors on them. That also is causing a massive delay as well. Um, and then, you know, this is not a normal filing season. Again, uh, you've We've had all these changes with the Paycheck Protection Program. Um, you know, that's caused uh, a lot of uh, different calculations with tax returns as well. So the combination of all these things have uh, almost created what I would call a mini, a mini storm. And the IRS is, is, in my opinion, really struggling to handle this. So there are significant delays. And this, of course, has also extended to the state returns as well. Um, state returns usually are much quicker than the federal returns, but what we have now is a delay with state returns. So what I'm telling people is give or take, allow at least an additional three, maybe three to four extra weeks from what you normally expect uh, for your refunds to uh, hit your bank accounts or direct deposit um, um, accounts. Uh, the other thing that I probably wanted to mention, of course, is the Paycheck Protection Program is technically still available till May the 31st, but but it appears that they did run out of funds, out of funding. Um, we're hoping that the government will increase funding for the Paycheck Protection Program uh, because that appears to have been such a great program, especially for smaller independent contractors, um, entrepreneurs, sole proprietors. Uh, it, it's really helped uh, a lot of those people who missed out on the earlier version of the Paycheck uh, Protection um, Program. So um, that has um, that program has apparently run out of money, but but there is some hope that there will be an extension and uh, more money will be allocated by the government. So that's 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 where we are with the Paycheck Protection Program. The EIDL program, which is the Economic Impact uh, Development Loan, again, another product uh, from the CARES Act, which was a response to the pandemic, is still out there. Uh, apparently, there's still funding for that as well. So that's still out there. And for those who got the loan in the past, there has been an extension. You can actually request for an increase in the loan. All right. So that's, um, that's uh, something to look out for as well. Um, I'll be doing another video on some of the other programs that the SBA has rolled out. The uh, uh, Restaurant Revitalization Program is out there as well. Um, the Shuttered Events, that's out there as well. So those programs are out there and uh, there is funding for those programs. But the Paycheck Protection Program has apparently run out of funding and we're looking forward to them increasing that. Okay, so those are the updates I have from Enterprise Tax. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, give us a call. Let us know. Um, um, you know, let us know what uh, what questions you may have. You can book an appointment with us online as well. Thank you. Bye.